the ability to stand up. Uh, as we know, Labor's first act when they were in government was to cut the road funding here in Ashton. It wouldn't happen with Rashina as a local member because she would be speaking up in a very strong way for her local community. So I'm really pleased, very proud uh, to be here today. Uh, the reception that we've received as we've moved around Aston uh, over the last six times, in my case, uh, many, many more for Rashina. Uh, people have been very receptive. A lot of people are doing it tough, let's be very frank about it. There are a lot of Australian families who heard Anthony Albanese promise before the last election on 97 occasions that he would reduce your power bill by $275. That was a promise he made before the election. He's never mentioned it since, not once. And Australian families have only seen their power prices. They've only seen the bill at the checkout. They've only seen the bill at the bowels that go up and up and up under Labor. So the cost of living pressures are real for families and small businesses. And the opportunity in the election today is to send a very clear message to Labor that they shouldn't be cutting local road funding and they shouldn't be abandoning this community when their first opportunity was to show support for the community. And they've made promises to reduce cost of living pressures and under Labor, all that's happened is that those pressures have gone up. Mr Dutton, we've seen the margin whittled down to 2.8% here in Aston. Is this by-election a test of your leadership? Well, obviously, uh, various factors at, uh, at the general election, and uh, that's uh, a matter of history. I think today, though, is uh, not about... It's not a general election. It's not about changing the government. It's about electing a strong local representative. And Aston deserves somebody who is going to stand up and fight for them, uh, not somebody who's just going to be a, another unionist in Parliament and then toe the line. Uh, Rashina Campbell has the ability and the experience uh, to do well, and uh, I've no doubt that uh, she'd be a very effective local member. But if you lose, or if you lose, or if... Well, again, I just think there's such beltway issues. I think the people here are worried about uh, their families. They're worried about how they're going to pay their power bill. They're worried about some of the decisions that the government's made particularly that could bring gas supply into question. And if you get a disruption to gas, it means that heating is not going to be effective over the course of winter. And they are the very real issues that, uh, that people are dealing with. So uh, as we've been out door knocking, they're the issues that people are raising. They're worried about how it is they're going to afford uh, their mortgages if interest rates go up again under Labor. They've already gone up uh, on 10 occasions and uh, they're really struggling. So I think that's uh, more what today is about. Okay, but if you, you, would you say, though, you, are you, would you say you're popular in this election? Well, I can say when I've been out uh, door knocking and when I've been speaking with people, uh, we've had a very warm reception and people recognise that uh, the Prime Minister before the election promised on 97 occasions that he would decrease people's power bills by $275 and since Labor's been elected, he's never mentioned that once. Your power bill has only gone up. We asked the Prime Minister in question time to name one suburb here in Aston or around the country where people's power bills have gone down. He couldn't do it because power bills under Labor have only gone up. And if people want to elect a great local member and have a champion for their local community, Rashina Campbell is that person. She's a mother of three. She balances her responsibilities uh, as a mum along with her professional responsibilities. Uh, she's a barrister. She's a local councillor, and she wants to fight hard for this local community. And I'm incredibly proud to have her as our candidate. Uh, I'll be incredibly proud uh, if the people of Aston are good enough to support her today and to uh, to have her in Canberra as the local representative Mr. for this seat. Well, the Prime Minister says that unless the, the Liberal Party gets the two PP with a six in front of it, uh, that it's a disappointing result for you. Is is that a benchmark that you're setting for yourself? Well, so I mean, do you think the current margin of 2.8% is actually reflective of this seat, or was it an anomaly at the last election? Well, I mean, what, what were you expecting him to say? Uh, I mean, of course he's going to play politics, and the Labor Party here has spent the last month throwing mud. They haven't explained to the people of Aston why it is that they cut road funding as their first act in government. I mean, it's quite remarkable. We just drove down Napoleon Road. Uh, in peak hour, uh, it's a disaster. Uh, you look at uh, their funding cut to Dorset Road, uh, it's, it's a disaster for locals and people realise that the first act of the Albanese government was to cut road funding here in Aston. Uh, that demonstrated what they thought of the people here in Aston. They've never apologised for it, never explained why and I think local families are really feeling the pinch under Labor because they thought the Prime Minister was going to live up to his word but clearly that's not the case. Is it enough for you or do you think the margin should increase? Well, History would tell us that 
you know, it, it should increase and that there was an um, exception that uh, it was slashed the margin here at May last year. What do you think the factors were for that and are you hoping to increase the margin? Well, I'll, I'll let the Prime Minister play political games. Uh, I'm here to support uh, Rashina. Uh, I think that Aston deserves a very strong local member and the opportunity here today is not to change the government. This is not a general election. In a by-election, you want to vote for somebody who is going to be a wonderful candidate to, and, and a person that will really fight day and night for you. And that's Rashina Campbell's background. I mean, when you look at her professional history, when you look at what she's been able to achieve when she turns her mind uh, to supporting the community, when you look at the thousands of people who have met her over the course of the last month, uh, she's impressed them because uh, she has a great passion for delivering outcomes and I think she'll do that uh, as a member for Aston. You say a strong, strong local, local member. Is what about a pretty low-key polling booth? We will be. We will be. Yes. Mr. Uh, she Daniel Andrews has returned from his trip to China today. He didn't have much to say about it. Do you have any concerns with that trip and how he's gone about? Well, uh, that's an issue for uh, Premier Andrews. I'm sure all those questions will be asked. The point, as I made yesterday, was that uh, we have uh, an important trading relationship with China. Uh, we want it to continue and to strengthen. Uh, we want peace and security for our country and our region. And we want to celebrate the fact that we have an amazing diaspora community here in Australia of people of Chinese heritage who are. Wonderful Australians, they've worked hard, they've educated their children, they've contributed to society, uh, they've contributed to their local community, to our country, uh, and that should be the focus. Uh, if there's secrecy and other questions, uh, then really they're, they're for the Premier. You say a strong local nice member, you say a strong local member, but Rashina yeah. Campbell doesn't live here. Do you think that that is going to cause problems? Well, she does, she does live here, actually, and she's the only candidate uh, from the major parties who lives in Aston. The Labor candidate didn't live in Aston at the last general election in May of last year and she had 10 months to move into Aston, never did it. Uh, Rashina Campbell, her first act was to move into Aston uh, because she wants to raise her children uh, here and wants to be a champion for this local community. So she demonstrated commitment from day one to Aston and I'm confident that the people of Aston will repay that today because people do want a good local candidate, somebody who is going to fight for them because over the course of the next six months, if interest rates continue to go up under Labor, if we have disruption to gas supply in our country, particularly over the course of winter, if Labor is going to continue to cut funding to roads here in Aston, then it is more important than ever to have a very strong and effective local member and Rashina Campbell is that person. She will be a great local member here in Aston and when she comes to Canberra she will be fighting every minute on behalf of the locals here uh, for a better life for their families and for uh, local small businesses. Thank you very much.